What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Protego and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be going over the Moza Slypod, kind of covering everything that comes in the kit, talking about all the little parts and accessories and talking about what all of those things are for. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the case of the Moza Slypod, it comes in this nice, hard shell kind of case. It's not as tough as like a Pelican, but it's definitely a very rigid foam case, which is gonna keep it nice and safe during travel. Now let's open it up here. And right away you get this really nice presentation of all of the different parts and pieces laid out in specific slots with some nice foam protection again to keep it nice and safe while you're traveling. It comes with a USB-A to USB Type-C power cable which you're going to use to charge the internal battery on the Slypod. It also comes with a wall adapter so if you wanted to plug it in and run it off of AC power if you're needing to run it for a much longer time than the battery life you can do that with this. Next, you have the actual slide pod itself, which is pretty nice and compact, comes in at about two feet for the total length. You have a nice rubber grip on the side here and some other things that we're gonna get into in a second. Next to that, you have a small wooden handle spacer, and this basically goes to a female quarter 20 to a female quarter 20 to add a little bit more length and something to hold onto. And it also adapts to the tripod feet, so you can actually set this up in a sort of monopod style if you wanted to do the boom type shot where you're going vertically up and down. And I'll show you how we put all of this stuff together in a second. The last two things that come with it are different mounting options for the top of the tripod. So starting with this smaller one first, it uses this kind of proprietary slip-on mount with a small little notch to lock it into the top of the head, and then you tighten down this collar to actually lock it in place so it's not gonna slide off the top of the slide pod. With this small one, you get a 3 8 adapter, so this allows you to go directly to one of the Moza gimbals if you wanted to have a remote head on the end of it, or you can use this 3 8 to put your own ball head on top of it, or anything else that you want to mount directly to the top of the slide pod. The other one that comes with it is their custom pan tilt head, and it uses the same sort of locking system on the top with the tightening collar. You get a pan lock on the side here to actually rotate the base of it around if you wanted to pan the head, and then you get a knob to adjust the tilt angle of the head. Now this is an interesting one because it doesn't use a ball mount or any sort of friction. It uses teeth to actually lock it in place, which is really nice because it's gonna keep the camera safe. It's not gonna tip accidentally. The only issue with this is that you have to use those specific angles. You can't really get anything in between. So if you're trying to fine tune it, you're gonna have to use some other method to adjust your camera angle. One of the really nice things about this head is that it uses a standard Arca Swiss style plate. So if you already have some of these plates, you can use them, but I would highly recommend using theirs because what they've done is actually design it to be a square plate. And this way you can mount it on in any direction. So you can take your camera from doing a slide on the slide pod to going into a push in or doing a top down really, really quickly without having to change too much on your setup to get those shots. So starting off with the assembly, the first thing you're gonna do is grab the slide pod, then we can take the wooden handle here, take one of the quarter 20 ends, doesn't matter which one, because they're both female quarter 20, and we're just gonna thread that right onto the bottom. This is gonna give us a nice little handle, as well as a little bit of an extension for using our tripod feet. So we can grab the little tripod feet and just thread that right into the bottom of the wooden handle. Now, if you want to, you can open it up and actually stand it up on its end. I'm not gonna do that right now, but this is kind of what it looks like, and you can start mounting your camera and everything on the top of the slide pod. I'm just gonna go back down so I can actually show you what I'm doing here. The next thing that we're gonna do is add on the pan tilt head, and what you wanna do is make sure that the notch is on the same side as the little knob on the top here. Make sure that's in the unlocked position, turn to the left. We can slide the head in and then turn that back to the right and it's gonna lock it into place. Now you'll notice there's a little bit of play and that's where sliding this collar and locking that down is really gonna keep it locked and nice and solid. Now that it's all assembled, you're ready to start shooting. Obviously mount your camera on there and you can start to change the angles on this. When you're ready to mount it onto a tripod to get those dolly side to side, dolly in and out shots, what you wanna do is either mount a plate directly to the quarter 20 or 3 8 on the bottom of this and then that can go onto your tripod head. This is also an Arca Swiss style plate. So if you have a head that's already an Arca Swiss, you don't need to add an additional plate onto it and you can mount it directly to this little collar. On the other end, you have a couple buttons. You have your power to obviously turn it on and off as well as a plus and minus, and that's gonna allow you to adjust the speed of it. If you wanna have some more fine tuned control, you can check out the app, which has a lot more features in it and more fine tuning of the speed and the actual movement of the slide. 
I just wrapped up another video talking about the SlyPod going a lot more in depth on some of the features and specs and the actual usability of it and how it actually works and a little more in depth on the app as well. If you wanna check that video out, I'll throw a link to it right up here. So definitely go and do that. If you wanna try one of these out for yourself and get this entire kit, there's gonna be links in the description down below. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more unboxing kit overview videos like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,